Hello everybody, I'm Matteo and welcome you here in Madelar Secret Rush. Today I like to show you the new brushless motor combo Xeron X from Hobbywing. It's specially designed for crawlers. This is a censored brushless system. It is fully waterproof and this alone is something special. Not many censored brushless systems are waterproof. But the sensor offers a very sensitive control and this is important for crawling. You can see here the very unique sensor cable connector. The system works only as combo, it means the X ESC works only with the X motor. The motor is available in three different motor KV rates, 1200, 1800 and 2300 KV. I've chosen the 2300 kV motor to get a bit more speed. But the most interesting thing is how the ESC controls the motor. Hobbywing calls it FOC, it means Field Oriented Control. A normal ESC regulates the current responding to the throttle on the transmitter, always the same, even if the terrain goes up or down. But the Xeron X controls the RPM in combination with the torque of the motor and holds it, even if it goes up or down. It means when you hold the throttle on the same position, the ESC regulates the current to hold the vehicle on the same speed, even if it goes up or down. The result is an absolutely new feeling in control the car. Especially on steep downhills, this way to control the car have big advantages. It has not only a drag brake as normal crawler ESC have, it's an active brake who works on every position of the throttle and hold the car always in correct position responding to the throttle trigger. How it works on the trails, I'll show you later in this video. First, let's start with the installation. I want to do this on my HBI Venture FJ Cruiser. At the same time, I want to install a new servo because the stock one is a bit weak. I want to use this specific crawler servo from PowerHD. It is also waterproof. It's good. The servo arm can be installed directly to the new servo. And it works. And here it is already installed. Before I can install the new motor I have to connect the cables. The cables are marked with A, B and C. On the ESC also. So it's important to connect the cables on the correct matching positions. The cables have to be soldered to the ESC. With a soldering iron this can be done. Here you can see all cables are connected. The next step is the throttle range calibration. This is needed only the first time when connecting to a new radio. It's well explained in the manual. As first I have to push the small set button and then while holding it I turn on the ESC with a bigger red button. Then after the LED starts to flashing red release the set button. Let the throttle on neutral position and press the set button, the LED flashes green to indicate it's safe this position. Next I have to do the same with the full throttle position. And as last with the full brake position. After 3 seconds the setup is completed and the system can be used now. I've already installed the pinion and I can mount the motor on the chassis. It's important to adjust a little bit backlash on the gear. So, and here it is, the installed brushless combo in my venture. The 
steering servo works well and the motor turns. Now I hold the throttle on a very low level and try to hold the drive shaft. As you can see the RPM does not change. The ESC delivers a bit more current to hold the RPM on the same level. Before we will go out, I'm going to show you now how the parameters of the ESC can be easily changed via Bluetooth with your phone. As first we have to download the Hobbywing HW Link app from the App Store or Google Play. When we open the app for the first time, we have to choose Bluetooth for connecting. Then, when I push to the small ESC icon on the upper right, the app searching for Bluetooth devices nearby. And here is our ESC. Only for first connecting, the device needs a password. It's 6 times the 8. Now the small icon indicates our ESC is connected and parameters can be adjusted now. There are a lot of adjustments. I changed the throttle increase rate to level 9. With this adjustment I get a more directly throttle control. Also, the motor rotation direction can be changed here if it's necessary. Another adjustment I do is the drag brake increase rate. I change it from level 4 to auto. This setting, auto, means in full throttle the brake reaction is softer and in low throttle the brake reacts immediately and directly. Are all the settings done, I have to push the save button and the ESC takes the new parameters. There are a few more functions on this app. I have not tested yet everything, only the basics. I like this way to make the adjustment on the ESC. It's very comfortable and easy to do, especially when you are out on the trails. But now, we are ready to go out and test it. The throttle response is very sensitive and the truck moves slowly and smooth upwards. But more impressive is how the car can be controlled downwards. Now I hold the throttle nearly on the same level as it was upwards. I can also immediately stop on the hill and go ahead again very slowly and controllable. Here we are on a more challenging hill. Because of the loose ground, it's not easy to go downwards and master this loop. But here also, the truck can be very good controlled with the throttle trigger. Upwards also. Of course, here are the tires, damper setup and other adjustments important. But the brushless combo with Xeron X works excellent and makes a very good job. Here you can see the top speed of the 2300 kV motor. I have the stock pinion in my Venture and drive it with a 2S LiPo battery. As last thing, let's test the waterproofness. According to Hobbywing, the system should be fully waterproof. I always like to drive a scale crawler in water on a realistic way. 
in a reasonable depth. Not unrealistic like a submarine. But here also the system works still fine and have no problems with water. I'm very happy how it works. It's brushless, waterproof and can be easily programmed with the app. The power consumption is very low. The run times are much longer as with similar brushed systems. Till now I found no disadvantages. So we are back and the truck is dirty and wet, ready for some cleaning and maintenance. If you liked the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you not already have. I say thanks for watching and see you next time.